Hello guys, this is a quick review and tutorial on how to upgrade your CPU to water cooling and removing this heat sink and fan on the HP Omen Obelisk uh, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080. Um, so far, it's been a great uh, desktop. Um, I got it on Black Friday for 1500 bucks. It's back up to $2,000. At that price range, I don't think it's worth it. I think you can build a better computer with uh, better components uh, at that price. But I've never had a desktop, and I wanted to get a pre-built computer and start upgrading from there because I'm fairly into all this. And it's been so easy so far. Uh, there's other things, uh, upgrades coming to, to this uh, desktop, and I'll be posting a separate video. I'll be upgrading the system fan, uh, water cooling the GPU, and the power supply, which at this point, I already need to upgrade. Um, but we're stuck with the, the blower type um, uh, fan, which it, the only thing bad about, I have to say about this desktop is that the temps on it reach up to yeah, 83 to 85 degrees. Um, it is running AAA titles at 4K. Um, but it's still pretty damn hot. So there is a program on here that you can uh, turn the, the fan on uh, higher, but it, it, gets, it gets really loud, so it's not enough for me. So like I said, I'll be water cooling that and I'll post another video with it. So let's start off with the, what I went and got the Cooler Master um, liquid cooling fan with, with uh, RGB. And uh, first of all, you gotta pop this uh, panel. And I've already unscrewed most of uh, everything just to make it easier on this video. But first of all, you have to um, disconnect the uh, GPU graphics card. Um, and after you're done doing that, you there's two screws right here that you take off. Another one right here. You slide this bracket and then you um, pull left. And there's a button down here that you push and it should pop your well maybe let's see there you go should pop up your uh, gpu and after you've done that you go ahead and i'm not going to disconnect it now but you disconnect everything on here the audio cable the 24 pin power supply the wireless card and you can actually just pop these wires and be really careful but you can uh, put them back on and they are numbered and the chip is numbered so you don't get confused on which one it is. Your uh, USB 3.0, the light bar, the, the, the LED, the power button, uh, the, the fan that's gonna be connected to yours, the system fan and the four pin. Once all that's uh, disconnected, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws um, that you have to um, take off of the motherboard. Once you have, you wiggle the motherboard out and be careful right here. That's that's all you gotta do, but just be careful. You pop this uh, motherboard out. And the hardest part about the whole installation was removing the uh, stocky uh, bracket that's on here because it, it is glued on with some uh, double-sided sticky tape so what i did was pull on it and with the razor blade i i gently cut the the tape until uh, i was able to remove everything so be extremely careful uh, with uh with that once the motherboard is clear off of that you uh, install your custom um, bracket that comes that should be supplied with your um uh water cooler and uh uh, that just depends on what you decide to go. I went with the $60 uh, Cooler Master cheap. Um, like I said, you, you can't overclock the CPU, so there's really no point on going on a really high end, but that that's all preference. That's up to you. Um, you put your, once the bracket's on, you put your motherboard back on, uh, screw, it ba uh, screw everything back up. Um, at this point, I wouldn't uh, connect the wires back on. Um, then I proceeded to do the next thing and see if I'm going to be able to do this with the one hand. But in your HP Omenopolis, there's a bracket. 
I've already removed one screw and I just left one on to make it easier. But let's see what I can do this. there's this bracket on here. And it's covered with four panels that you're gonna have to break off to allow flow to your radiator and fan. And it's already uh, has holes just to install your radiator and fan. And you can either put the fan on first or the radiator, radiator and that's really up to you. Um, there's no right or wrong answer. It's just, um, it's just up to you on how you want your airflow. I went with this setup. Um, anyway, you, you uh, go ahead and uh, slide it into the slots there. There's two little slides that need to line up and then you put on uh, screw the bracket back on one screw here and one screw there that's it now um, you you can have the um, the hose um, go that way or whichever way you prefer but I'm going with this setup because um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna be upgrading system fans. So if I put them over here, it's gonna be in the way. So I just went with that. And let me see if I can, it's a little hard. Doing it with just one hand. There we go. And just quickly, bear with me. You can see it should line up there. And I'm just gonna add a screw really quick. Give me a second, guys. And it just holds on with one, but like I said, there's another one up here that you need to um, screw on. And <clears throat> and this uh, uh, Clear Master came with uh, three cables. It came with the pump, obviously, and you connect that there. It's already provided on the motherboard. And the second one, which is the the fan. And uh, the third one with this Cooler Master is the uh, the RGB uh, lighting. Okay. Now, I went to the back. And there's a screw here that you need to remove. You slide this panel sideways and you just get to the cabling. Now you can see the type of RGB wiring that I, I got on this one. Okay, it's, it's a four pin connecting. Uh, it's a three way splitter. Anyway, I rearranged that going all the way down. Now, with this one, uh, I get a little control with the, in order to power it, you need a Molex, Molex uh, connector that this power supply does not provide, which is why I'll need to upgrade that later. But for now, I'm stuck with it just being white. And actually, to get power to that, I had to mod this little chip here. Uh, this is where it's connected. This four pins was not originally there. So I soldered that in there with uh, an extra four pin that I got that I was not using. So once it's connected, I get uh, <clears throat> lighting, uh, and it's just white to the Cooler Master and the uh, the fan up here. And let me quickly just install everything here. Let's see. It's just a little hard to do everything one hand, guys, so just bear with me. I just want to power it on to show you the lining on the. It's connected. As 
as you can see, lights up. And it looks different color, but that's because of the um, the lighting of the uh, desktop. But I'll go ahead and unplug it. Turns off. So there you go, guys. Um, let me know if there's another way that I can mod the uh, uh, the motherboard to get lighting to the uh, RGB. Because like I said, I'm, I'm fairly new to this. So if you have any ideas, post it on the comments. Let me know. Um, so go ahead and enjoy your HP moment, guys.